Here we clowns, yeah. Position it, don't separate, don't separate from here. 30 seconds until departure. They're trying to position themselves. <laughs> Didn't expect that, huh? Gee, uh, push up on it. Can't see. <laughs> they both got a break. Bottom line. <laughs> no plot on me, boy. <laughs> I got trauma on my hey, chest. Hey, YouTube. This build I have for you today is another one I've been wanting to make for a long time. It's never been strong enough but now I feel completely comfortable sharing this with the community. I personally have never seen hardwired used this way. There are specific reasons why I'm doing this and you'll see very soon. Blind Trauma is a hybrid DPS support build, great for solo or group play. Here I'm trying to address the issue of DPS builds with skills that have very high cooldowns and with the ability to have the blinder firefly at your disposal pretty much whenever you need it is an advantage you don't want to pass up. Let me show you why it's so hard for me to put this build down. Before we get started, I'd like to say something about off meta builds and the consensus or disagreements about whether or not they work. Clearly, the meta exists and it always will. It's what encourages uprisings against it. But some off meta builds just don't work, like adding talents and attributes to a build just to be different. So conceptually, it looks pretty good, but in reality, will never stand a chance against a meta build. What I have here is not that. The ability to blind your enemy back to back is probably one of the most effective ways to immobilize your opponent. This is the skill I'm using and I wanted to explain it first so you can get a better understanding of the build. This is a DPS hybrid and the blinder has an 8.5 second blind duration in PvE and for PvP the duration is 3 seconds. You may not think that's that long, but let me ask you a question. How long does it take to burn a player down in PvP? <laughs> Didn't expect that, huh? <laughs> Enough said, right? I don't know about you guys, but whenever I get blinded, it's a problem. There's nothing you can do about it but wait until it wears off. So this gives you and your team such an advantage. Now, let me get into the build and also how you get damage from a skill-based gear set. Hardwired. The primary is a Carbine 7. There are a few weapons in the game that are just different. Weapons that feel great and hit hard. The Carbine 7 is one of them, plain and simple. Eyeless is my talent and it's the first source of damage that I'm getting. Once the enemy is blinded, you gain 20% weapon damage. Also, this weapon is kind of difficult to get. Comment below if you've been searching for a Carbine 7 with just the right attributes because it already comes with overflowing talent which makes it more difficult to find ones that are rolled the way you want it to. It has to be perfect so if you want damage to targets out of cover with let's say NSYNC it's gonna have to drop with damage to targets out of cover already. What I have on mine is crit chance. I thought I didn't want it, but since crit is extremely difficult to get on hardwired, it helps a lot, trust me. My secondary is a Scorpio, and surprisingly, I rarely use this because with the style that I adopt in this build, the Scorpio is not really needed much. It does help to get me out of trouble here and there though. The pistol is needed though because it helps me get even more crit chance and damage since I don't have as much as I would want. So the way I set this up is just like I do with ongoing directive. Find the hardwired pieces or craft them and make sure two each come with crit chance and status effects. The status effects are what help the blind duration. By all means, you can have all crit if you like. I just know that from experience, crit is very difficult to get on hardwired. So after getting the right attributes, roll away the main core to weapon damage and one with armor core. The chest piece is Seska, which you definitely need to help with more crit chance. It comes with 10% for its first piece. It was originally supposed to have trauma, hence the name blind trauma. But with the frequency of fireflies you'll have, the blind from trauma will be wasted the majority of the time. It's cool though, because with Eyeless, after four kills, you get an automatic blind on the next enemy you shoot. So you pretty much have trauma anyway. But the talent is obliterate. This also helps a ton 
and it's the other source of damage you gain 25 percent more from the amount of crit hits you stack the third source of damage is the main one and it doesn't only help your damage but everything else on the build the memento is also the very reason this build was made I don't think this concept would have worked without it because initially I wanted to use Wicked, but Memento gives me more damage than that when I pick up just one trophy. 25%. That's from the five weapon cores I have. Okay, we got the damage out of the way, but let me explain why this backpack puts this build on another level and solidifies it as a hybrid DPS with survivability. My armor is at 1.1 mil. I have two armor cores and two skill tiers. Remember, the memento grants skill efficiency based on how many skill tiers you have so it also helps my blind duration and cooldown but it really works wonders with the crusader shield which is my second skill this setup allows me to have a tier 4 shield man i was wondering why my shield was so tanky also with hardwire's feedback loop talent whenever i pull my shield out the fireflies cooldown is automatically refreshed this patch has inspired me to think outside the box even more than before and for me, the meta mindset is not where I like to be. Listen, I don't have anything against the people who use meta builds all the time. I get it. The comfort zone it puts you in allows you to easily get kills, which then promotes the dopamine that sends messages to you. Letting your body know that it's pleasure that you feel from the kills you get that way. It's an addiction. So I understand it. But my addiction is the opposite. And I try to stay outside the comfort zone most of the time because that's where creativity is born it forces you to think outside the box you should try it a great feeling indeed but if you like this build concept and enjoy the video comment different down below that's it for this one and remember to drop a like and subscribe if you're new i'll catch you in the next one be right out